Hello friends. In my previous video, I have di already discussed two different types of comb filters. Number one is one comb filter used to add uh, echo in an uh, in an audio signal, and another comb filter used to remove echo from an audio signal. Okay, so uh, I will post the link of my previous video in the description box you just go through that that will be helpful for understanding this particular video lecture see here i have opened the, that video com filter and echo removal filter okay see here h of z this one we have taken uh, for creating or adding echo in an audio signal and this g of z we have used for removing echo so the transfer function g of z used to remove echo from a signal which has echo uh, we have got this transfer function as 1 by 1 plus 0 0.8 z to the power minus 11 and we have eventually derived that denominator coefficient is 1 0 1 comma 10 0 0.8 and numerator coefficient is 1 okay so i am taking the same numerator and denominator coefficients here and let me show you the impulse response of that particular transfer function which can be used to remove the echo so we have taken number of samples as 1000, denominator and numerator coefficient defined as same as I have just shown you, n equal to 0 colon n minus 1 and as you know to get the impulse response we have to pass delta function through the particular system. So x equal to n equal to equal to 0, this particular code is used to generate delta signal as you know already I have discussed in my previous videos. In the initial videos of DSP lecture itself I have told you. Then y equal to filter num comma n comma x and then stem n comma y. That's all. So let me uh, select all and then do evaluate selection. And we are getting the impulse response like this. It is exponentially decreasing and coming to zero at very high values of capital N. Okay. So basically this is what about impulse response of the comb filter which can be used to remove echo. So from the comb filter impulse response, we can uh, get one intuitive idea about the application of the comb filter. Okay, suppose we have one signal and that has not significant amount of pitch difference. Okay, pitch means in an audio signal, some part is uh, very high uh, in uh, frequency or volume we can say and some part is very low. So there, if there is no the such amount of pitch is present in an audio signal we can use comb filter in that case to generate a pitch because you can see here the uh, response is very high and gradually it is decreasing so gradually it will attenuate the other component but initially it will have high value okay so pitch will be high high amplitude so one of the use case of comb filter is in this particular domain so uh, this is one kind of example you can say let's use a specific kind of input signal for this particular com filter suppose we are taking white noise okay white noise how to generate in MATLAB also I have discussed even though white noise does not have any pitch characteristics passing it through the com filter will produce a pitched sound okay so let's observe whether theory is matching with practical or not so CLC clear all close all if you want you can write warning off also then we are creating a noisy sound n equal to 5000 and random we are using to create additive white Gaussian noise and sound x comma 8000 so first let me execute this part and after that let me execute this particular part and after that let me execute sound x comma 8000 listen it very carefully it is nothing but one simple noise and obviously it is completely random it will it will not have any particular pitch okay that's what here we can see what is written here input signal above even the white noise does not have any pitch okay so white noise obviously as it is random it will not have any pitch but you observe uh, or listen carefully this particular signal So I hope you have understood that there is no sudden pitch is there. Now what we have done, what we are doing here, 
we are creating the comp filter so this is what the magnitude and phase response of the comp filter same denominator and numerator coefficients we have taken okay so this particular part will plot also the magnitude and phase response of the comp filter what we are using so this is the magnitude and this is the phase this already i have shown in my previous video where i have discussed how to remove echo from a signal okay so now what we are doing we will filter our original signal x which we have generated here using this particular and then okay we'll filter the signal using uh, uh, via the transfer function num and then which we have created to remove echo so evaluate selection and now i am playing the filter signal and you just listen this song or noise very carefully so now you just observe just what we have done we have passed our uh, random noise through our filter uh, through our uh, this particular transfer function and now we are getting a signal which has a pitch okay again listen carefully i hope you can differentiate these two signal again let me play the noisy signal these don't have any pitch but after filtering we can clearly listen that there is a pitch present in the filter signal so in this particular uh, domain this is one of the major application of comp filter in signal processing or musical uh, sound processing okay so it can be used to generate pitch okay this is all for my this video uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, this particular code to make some good project in dsp also this particular code i am going to post in the description box if you want you can check there and don't forget to check the prerequisite videos whatever link i will provide in the description for understanding this particular concept clearly thank you